everyone have you heard about the peter b challenge hey <laughs> you've not heard the peter b challenge oh my peter b is challenging you people he said that uh, we should it's not only government that citizens also you should be doing something and so he's focusing on two critical areas which is education and water so is there something that you can do? Are you, can you dig a borehole? Can you have a group of people to coming together to build a borehole? Can you help out in terms of education? Either donate money to a school or adopt a school or do something with a school, but make the life of someone better. Maybe to say, I support Peter Abi, I support Peter Abi, I support Peter Abi. Eh, monetize the support. You know, they make you monetize, give us many monetize and do have something for somebody. And honestly, let me be very frank with you guys. Eh? Uh, on a very serious note, for me, I've gotten to a place where I feel, you know, this money that you keep giving people, it, it's almost like an absolute waste. The same person, you will carry up somebody for decades. You'll be giving that person money, yet they keep coming again and again and again and again to collect, collect, collect. And, uh, you know, one of the days that I, I thought about it, there were some of my uh, siblings who had gone to where we used to live before. And then with one of my sister, because one of the siblings was um, married, my brother. And when they came, they were talking about the place was almost like, you know, the way it used to be. And then she was talking about a boho, uh, like, oh, that they say a boho, I don't know, like, eh, me, I do boho. When did I do the boho? Like, honestly, I can't remember. You know, there's so many things that you do them, you don't even remember it's been long. So even when I was, she was sick, I was thinking, I was not recalling. But then it now dawned on me, and I said, okay, so imagine now, that money that you used to build boho, you would have given it to one person, that same money over and over and over. Yet, the person, you know, they stand. The person doesn't grow. The person doesn't do anything. The person is still a liability. Not just the person is a liability. The children are whatever. They still continue to be liability unto you. But see what you've done for community. You, you've even forgotten. The community is still appreciating it. It's still doing it. And at that moment, like, man, I would rather focus on, you know, community projects and all of that and put this down and do things and, you know, all, all, all of those things. But hey, so this is what uh, Mr. Peter B is saying. But in the meantime, Watch and hear from Mr. Peter Obi himself. We are able to find solutions to critical areas of need in our development. I've come to address a number of issues this morning. I've called across the countries, meeting and identifying discussing and interacting with people on critical areas of development that I found is any areas that while we will stop our government intervention, there's also need for interventions of well-being Nigerians, especially as it concerns the area of health, education, and pulling people out of poverty. And the two areas of need that I want to do what I call today and I feel challenge is in the area of water and education. Are you ready? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, anytime I'm doing, anytime I'm doing something like that, the people used to think that I'm this one very serious, very fast, you know, just so I'm like, no, I mean that I'm always playing and doing this thing. As I'm doing this, are you ready for the Mr. Peter O.B. Challenge, Water Education Challenge? So which one are you going to be part of? Please be part of something do something which one are you going to be part of is it part of the boho challenge or the education challenge or you're going to combine them all together it will really be lovely you know just imagine for example 744 774 local governments in nigeria and nigerians are able to do 774 boho's through the mr peter ob challenge imagine that what would be the impact it will make to people's lives and uh you know put these boreholes together let people just have that impact honestly for me eh, 
that is more for me that is more than all of this one that you are giving money to eat food to go and buy food to go and do this so my and we've not i've not eaten since this day oga hunger no the key you go only slim down oh yeah go and look for work at least if not clean water people go see something drink and uh so education also in terms of children we need to get out of school children we need to get them in school we need to get children off the streets and in school how many can you pay their school fees can you put them in schools can you ensure that they're able to get good quality education it's not just for them as alone it's also for us and the society at large because when someone is educated the person they get hurt they think not the one that we see somebody will be thinking like this, like this, like this. And on a very serious note, education is really important because, uh, like I always say, democracy without education is a disaster. So you find situation whereby people who are voting don't even know why they are voting. So we need to begin to educate our populace. And if you have population and uh, that it's not educated, it's another disaster that is waiting. And it's sort of an asset. It actually becomes a what? A liability and you don't want anyone to be liability so of course let us do whatever we can this is the peter ob challenge what are you doing will you do something let's all do something let's all ensure that we are getting somewhere Peter B challenge. I was just looking at it because I just want to make sure that it stays within that uh, eight minutes, you know, eight minutes mark. It doesn't go two way off. Sometimes it's getting to like 11, 12, 13 minutes and uh, hey, people don't want to burn their data so, so, so much. So which part of the challenge are you going to be a uh, part of? I know there was a statement, you know, that had been, uh, that had been put out and there are quite a number of, uh, uh, what what do I call it now? Quite a number of uh, videos are there where Peter B uh, is, is, is explaining it. And then here, the the educational uh, uh, water challenge, Mr. P o. B highlighted the urgent need for access to water across Nigeria, citing his recent observations during a nationwide tour. To address it, he has initiated efforts to drill boreholes in various communities. Recognizing the scale of the challenge, he appealed to the goodwill of 0.1% of the population to sponsor borehole projects aiming to provide water to millions. Additionally, Mr. Obi personally committed to overseeing multiple borehole uh, projects to alleviate water scarcity. And then on the education a uh, challenge, of course, acknowledging the issue of out of school children. Mr. Obi emphasized the importance of bringing education directly to this marginalized group. He proposed establishing education centers centered to their needs, providing qualified teachers and a diverse curriculum. Mr. Obi emphasized the transformative power of education, a pledge financial support to a Muslim school in Kaduna, urging the government to match its efforts and optimize spending in the education center so this is it obi peter obi challenge are you in are you in i hope did i get a yes say yes did i get a yes thank you